Look, it could be a pretty bold move saying that I think the mob boat is kind of garbage. But you know, the mob boat, it's garbage. Honestly, I don't know what they were thinking. Now, you might think the glare, you know, it looks cute. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's useless. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you should vote because that's your opinion and I can't change that. But what I can do is sit here and tell you what I'm gonna vote because that's my opinion. You can't convince me otherwise. I'm going to vote what I'm gonna vote. And if you try and change that, well then, pretend this is you. Pretend this brick wall is me. Goodbye. Okay, no, that you get the point, okay? That doesn't- Shut up, okay? That doesn't matter! <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm gonna go through each one of the different mobs and tell you why I think some of them suck <coughs> and why other ones I think are much more useful than, uh, you know, certain mobs that are in the mob boat. <coughs> Anyways, the first mob I'm going to start with is the glare. If you try and tell me this thing is useful, <laughs> I'm not going to listen because this thing is absolute garbage and it even looks like garbage too. Let me- let me- let me look at this more carefully, okay? You must be the glare, the mob that lets players know when they are in an area that is dark enough for monsters. So this mob right here tells you when it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. Okay, so you're gonna tell me that the glare's entire job is to tell you when it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna show you how, uh, stupidly useless this mob is. This mob is literally just the F3 debug screen. Look, if I press F3, you see that little number right there? That number is the light level. Level. So let me get this straight. This is what the glare does. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh I found I oh, it's so it's dark enough here for monsters to spawn. Oh, look at that. It says zero. Oh, it's, it's dark enough here for monsters to spawn. That's such a shame. Oh, oh, I guess oh, I'll just put oh, how will I ever know which one of these caves is dark enough for monsters to spawn? Oh my god. Oh, oh, look at oh, oh, I found another dark. Sp oh my god. Okay, seriously, why does the glare exist? Like, why does it exist? It, it just goes to dark spots where mobs can spawn. You know how else you can know where dark spots where mobs can spawn are? Press F3 and look at the light level. Also, besides the glare up here in the corner, why is there bee armor? I want it. Bzzz. Bzzz. I want that bzzz. Top secret. What's in that box, Agnes? What is in that box, huh? Why don't you tell me? You put any more bzzz armor in there? Is that what you did? Oh, look at it. It's so cute. This thing should be like awarded a Nobel Prize for cuteness. Look at it. Its eyes are so cute. My only problem with this thing is um it's basically just a cheap hopper here take my last cookie you deserve it you must be there eh? thanks for collecting all these cookies for me would you do that with any item i give you hooray no more collecting for me jeb says he doesn't have to collect anything but jeb here he knows what he said you gotta collect everything okay the alley i have i have some news for you it it doesn't dupe items okay as it, fun as that would be that would be completely game breaking and mojang would just never add that you want to know what the alley does it just goes off and it just finds some items that are already on the ground now you tell me why there would just be a pile of cookies on the ground like i mean when in minecraft are you just gonna be walking around in the woods and you're just gonna come across a pile of cookies on the floor. Which means if you like, I don't know, died and you wanted this so-called cute looking vex to get your stuff back, then you might as well get yourself a second set of stuff because that's what you're gonna have to give it if you want it to go get your netherite armor. So you might say, okay, it can't get your stuff back. But you know, you know, there's one use, you know, redstoners. Hoppers are just ridiculously expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive, but they just, they take so much iron. So most Mojang was like, all right, well, let's just have this thing. You give it an item and then it goes gets those items and it brings it to the note block. Like I'm guessing this is what they were thinking. Glare would come up here. It gets some nice cookies from its nice little dispenser boy down here. It turn around and go, oh, look at that note block. Oh, sound. I love sound so much. I'm dropping the cookies and then cookies go in chest. Boom. Now you don't have to have a hopper system that transports the cookies from here to there. You want to know what the problem with, with this idea is? Iron farm. You know, there's only a few iron farms. YouTube, YouTube only has a few iron farms. Not that many types of iron farms. There's no way there could be that many types of iron. In fact, this, it's impossible to have that many iron farms. Like, why would you have to be anywhere near worried about the expensiveness of iron for a hopper? All you gotta do is just walk over to a chest and open it and you just get iron. It's just free iron. It just shows up every once in a while. What? Why? I don't know. In your opinion, if you like this because of the cuteness or 
or you, you see some other use that I can't, then go ahead, vote for it. I don't care. If that's what you like, then, you know, vote for it. But in my opinion, I'm voting Copper Golem. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but you know what? Copper Golem, nice. And hopefully, Copper Golem win. I mean, it looks like the Copper Golem's on the right track to me. As long as a certain someone doesn't rig the vote again, you know who you are. <laughs> But Copper Golem on the other hand, I mean, look at this thing. This thing is a beast. It is a robot and it's got a literal lightning rod on its head. Now you can't tell me that that lightning rod won't have a purpose. I feel like that lightning rod's gonna have something to do with it. I mean, I don't know for sure. It could just be designed, but not gonna lie, a charged Copper Golem sounds pretty sweet right now. Plus, not only do we get this mob, we get Copper Buttons. It's a two for one thing. Unlike a certain other mob, which gives you absolutely nothing. I mean, it's added in copper buttons gosh dang it do you not want this in your game also those are some sweet piston doors but like this thing's got an owl head look at its head this thing's head is an owl and i mean you might be a little concerned about the oxidized one but i'm sure you can wax it if you can wax copper you can wax the oxidized one you probably just gotta wax it and then it starts working again like the uses for this copper golem it's a literally a randomizer the copper golem randomly presses copper buttons now you might think there is no use for this, but hear me out. This is a randomizer for redstone machines. Yes, there are some types of randomizers for redstone machines, but there is no randomizer that works the way the copper golem will. Now, I've taken my sweet time here to build a nice redstone machine to show you the purpose of the copper golem in redstone. Let's say there were four different directions you wanted your uh, cow farm to fall out of. Now, there's four different directions. You have orange, blue, gray, and black. Now, you have one tube that your cows fall into. There is literally no simple way to randomly decide which cow goes down one of these tubes. But let's say I'm the copper golem. I see, I see some copper buttons, you know? Copper golem goes, ooh, what does this button do? And presses it, you know? And then boom, cow goes down random direction and dies. And you can do this with so many cows. Ah, oh, look at all those cows. You guys are gonna be perfectly fine, okay guys? You're gonna be perfectly fine. Anyways, it's time to split them up into the four different directions. But it's random. So let's say once again, I'm the copper golem. There are copper buttons. Copper button golem thing likes to press the buttons. And the cows get pushed out in a bunch of random directions. Think, you got creeper farm or something. Enderman farm. I don't know. You gotta split them up into the four different directions. You press all the buttons and the cows go into the four different directions. You see? Into the four different directions the cows go. And I think this is a perfect representation of what the cock- I think this is a- <laughs> I didn't mean to say that, okay? I didn't- I didn't mean- <laughs> No! No, I didn't say- I think this is a perfect representation of what the Copper Golem could do. Every time I say Copper Golem, I cannot- <sighs> Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button. Because that button- that button's a very nice button. It makes that number next to it get bigger. And the bigger that number gets, the happier I get. And you know, wanna know what? Do the- do the same with, with the- with the like button. That button that looks like a thumb that goes upwards. Because I know that if, uh, if you don't press the like and subscribe button, I will haunt you. Okay, have a good rest of your day.